Greetings. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Peace if you can find it. <laughs> if I knew now what I knew then, I would have became a big sister. Or adopted. Because this is a horrible place to bring children. And then you pass on and lead them here. And you didn't bring them anything. You just brought them here. And birthed them. And then you leave and pass on, and they hear left in this mess to struggle alone. Hello? Why? It's not a good place for children. And I know people are still expecting, and a lot of people are aborting, but I don't understand that because what's wrong with contraceptives? That's, that's my, my theory. I used to work in a clinic, adolescent medicine in one of the big hospitals in Detroit. And these children, teenagers, could get birth control without their parents' permission because they felt it was better for these young girls not to have children because you wasn't gonna stop them from screwing. You wasn't gonna stop them. So it was better to just give them birth control. Some of them were on pill. I, I I know it was wrong. It probably fertilized them. But if they had had children, they would have been called river babies. It was a physician that called them river babies because they were born addicted. And it was a learning institution, so it was giving them a chance to practice medicine. Here we go. Babies weighing three pounds and ready to just leave this sick fuck world. Made the wrong turn. But they gonna save it and spend $250,000, which was a lot 30 years ago. But they got a chance to practice the students from the university. And they were called river babies because they sent them home to a crack house where they end up walking in the street, in the middle of the street with a diaper on, a dirty diaper. And you invested all that money into them to save them and then send them up the river. But it was for the students to learn. But then you, you still, you just, they don't care. It was experiment and learning. Because then they put out these pediatrician surgeons who have learned something on this child that they just send up the river. That was $250,000 worth of teaching there. Yeah, I, this is a sick world to have kids. Not kids, I'm sorry. I, 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 children, kids are baby goats. Stop calling our children kids. The children. I know sometimes I get a little fanatic on the English language, but then I go Ebonics on you right away. I'm a hybrid in that sense. You know, I'm still coming out of their world because I was deeply embedded as a Negro and a hybrid as a Christian. I was programmed from their schools to their teaching, uh, to their uh going into one of their tools of systemic racism and that was the church so I was deeply programmed so now I'm free so I'll go Ebonics and loose on you in a minute but yeah I'm still programmed what else I can do yeah Blackface turning on their own people. I'm really appalled about what Terrence Howard is doing in Uganda, Africa. I hope y'all saw the video. I'll leave it again in the description below. How he is just playing, he's being used with a cockamamie bull story, bullshit story like what he's telling. He could have came up with something better. And that's something else about these tricksters and coons and black faces and even Caucasians with their trickery, with their lies in your face. They're not good at it. It's just shit that a child can make up and say. It's not even something that you could think about, think it through. It sounds like bullshit at the beginning. 
It sounds like something that somebody made up when they was high. It doesn't add up right away. You can listen to it right away if you're a thinking person. Because what he says straight up. When I first heard him, I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? He's talking about avoiding war. Let me come over here and do this shit. Because I've been sent over because they gave me money. Because I don't have a job on Empire anymore. And I'm broke and I need some cash. So they sent me over here to blow smoke up your ass. And tell you this cockamamie bullshit. So that we can get over here and open up the door. Because I'm just a tool. I'm just a... Uh, what they call you? A puppet? And I'm trying to make way for my master to get over here. Because I heard you got something. It's been broadcasted all over the world that you got. 12 trillion U.S. million dollars worth of gold. So, damn. You need gold to back up all that dollars that you've been printing. Daily. Billions. With no gold to back it up. But here we go. We got some now. Now we need a black face, a coon, to open up the door, get us in there. Shame on him. And shame on those that are listening to him and think he's just talking something deep. And think he's just a new crazy maniac so you can get another club going. Because we love something different. So we can start a new club, a new group. You know? That's what we want. Hold on. I found a way to play my music. I, you know I'm addicted to it. Yeah, we found a way. This is okay. But yeah, that distracted me. Terrence Howard. Another group, if you read the comments. Oh, he's, ooh, he's deep. Ooh, I can understand. Yeah, he's, he's all of this and he's that. Oh, yeah, he's talking about all this shit. And I like it because it's different. It's going to make me different from anybody that else. But you want to be different in another bullshit way. You can't even understand because you got to understand geopolitics and understand the history of this government, what it does and how it operates and how it always used one of us. And I said before, how can we win? Because they got the military, the CIA, the FBI. They got the clans and the coons. I forgot to add those two. Working on their behalf. To keep us contained in the ghetto. And even if we segregate ourselves, which is the best thing, but how can it happen? It can't happen. We all too screwed up now. But that's the only way. But if we did, they would burn it down. They already told you that. They did it more than once. All I can remember right now is toast. I need to do more reading. I know it's more out there, but I can't remember. But I know who I'm dealing with. So that's what they do. So know who you're dealing with. And then you can understand everything that's happening, what Terrence is doing. He's operating as a tentacle, as an agent, a cell, black face of coon. Yeah, yeah. Peace if you can find it. I don't like long videos. So you think about it. Either he's deep as other people say and he's coming out with some bullshit that ain't gonna help us anyway. How is what he talking about gonna help us anyway? I know of someone that is making water 
out of this great machine. His name is Wes, I think it is. I gotta find that out and talk about something wholesome that they're not talking about. I think I will talk about that. I am going to. But he's really making water. But what is Terrence talking about hydrogen and, and, and little cubicles and space in between and all this, you know, stars and circles and question marks? And people like that shit. Think he's a new crazy leader, a new guru that some black people need. We don't need no more bullshit to follow. We got enough. We do. What we gonna do? We keep talking about everything that is happening to us. They just shot down another black boy, man. Donovan, I, I, it's happening so much. What we gonna do? The only way you can stop them is fighting back. They hanging us left and right. They not even talking about it. They not put it in the news. There's a channel called Runaway Slave. He telling you about all the hangings and killings they are doing that they now not talking about. Runaway Slave, look at that channel. This brother is telling it all. We're not safe. And if you look at that channel, you will realize how much trouble we are in. We are in danger. Listen to that channel and you will recognize how much trouble we are in. No lie. They're hanging us with our knees on the ground. No ligature marks on the neck. Behind police stations. Drowned in pools. Falling off of boats. But a lot of us are going with them. It scares me when I see just one of us with a group of them. That is so scary. I remember seeing that once. And it did something to me inside. And I didn't know as much as I did do now because I would have stopped and talked to that young girl. And if I ever see it again, I look for it every time I pass that area. If I ever see that incident again, I will stop my car and talk to my sister. I will. It's not safe for just one of us to be in a group with them. Eight or nine by ourselves. Because if any, if any one of them have a racist idea and do something to you, the rest of them are going to stick together. So you are so alone. Just If it's eight of them, magnify that eight times they parents. Magnify that times. Fifty. You are all alone. You are in danger. And it's turning up that they are coming up dead. Murdered. Hanged. You know, killed. And they get away with it because the, when the police is called, they on their side. They all stick together. They don't go against one another. They are strictly on call. They know how to stick together. From the police coming on down to the, to the prosecutor, to the pathologist, the judge, the defense attorney. If you even get that far, they stopping it now just saying shit is suicide. We don't need to take this any further. But then I heard you could talk to the FBI, but shit, they too. Like I said, KKKs have jobs too. They only put the hood on at night. But they have regular jobs. They have jobs in the hospital. They bring you your baby. The EM EMS drivers. They nurses. They your supervisor. Your co-worker, your insurance broker, your lawyer, your black-faced lawyer too. You don't know who to trust. Because a lot of African black people that went to their schools, we think just because they black. Because I have been jacked off by black um, people that I chose to do business with. But they were black on the outside. 
black on the outside, but they were white on the inside. And they did me wrong. And then I thought about it, hell, where did they go to school? Deep, I think about it. They just got a black face. That's all. But peace, if you could find it, thanks for tuning in, listening, like and share, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, much obliged, I appreciate you tuning in, like, share, leave a comment, I'm going to go in and paint by number and relieve myself, find a way to relieve yourself, a lot of people know how to do it. They just don't deal with none of this shit at all. But I thirst after it, I guess. I want to know. I, I want to know the bullshit. No matter how bad it smells. Give it all to me. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Because I hate lies. Lies destroy my life. That Christianity, religion... Believing in illusions and Noah's Ark, all those animals up in there, all the marine life had to die because salt water and fresh water can't mix. And then you think about all the birds had to be in there. What did they eat? And where did they ship? And what did the lion, tigers, and, and jaguar and all them eat? Come on now. I believe that as an adult. So I need to know things now. I don't need to believe. I need to know. I need to be real. I don't care how painful it is, how much it hurt. I'll decide how to get rid of that pain or if it ever should go away. Because so much pain don't go away. You just dress up and look good and put on jewelry, makeup, perfume. Head wraps, dreads, you try to cover it up. But peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.